Hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Maybe you're watching this. I'm trying to set the different. There's my shadow, so you, know, you can still you can see me. Um, yeah, so there are a few writers that I really love. And whenever they print something new, I will go and read it. And I've read everything they've written. Chuck Kloniak is one of them. So he was recently on the Tim Ferriss podcast, and he was telling this story, this interesting decision about how to behave at a party that I thought was really quite interesting. Some people will go into the party, and you know the, the example is they'll, they'll say, "Hey, you know, Robert Benchley was really this amazing guy. You know, he started the New Yorker, and then he lived for decades longer, just writing, writing, and then years later he writes Jaws." Just talking, and then finally someone at the party was there. Actually, it was uh, Peter Benchley who wrote Jaws. And they all kind of laugh at this person. God, he's so stupid. How do you not know Peter Benchley wrote that? But they will feel so much better about themselves that this guy is at the party. And so I was thinking, what kind of person does this? What a strange calculus that you would submit yourselves to derision for saying something so stupid when... Actually, you know, is it stupid? I mean, how many people know Robert Benchley started the New Yorker? And of course, Robert Benchley is Peter Benchley's father. So there's still some relationship going on there. But this person has made a decision to say something just absurd. But yet everyone likes having that person around them now because it makes them feel better about themselves. And I thought, you know, I wouldn't do that. I was valued, probably overvalued, in my sense of respect from people thinking that I'm smart and I know all my stuff. And then I wonder, you know, as a real estate agent, am I going to make it if I'm not willing to make that choice? Because after all, it's a relational issue. It's a relationship, it's a job about relationships. People want to be around you, people think about you. And that's not necessarily my first impulse. That's not necessarily my highest value. But in any case, I digress. But I'm thinking about who would actively make that choice and I remember something that happened when I was in graduate school and some of my colleagues women were telling me that they are consistently forced into that decision calculus especially in academia where everyone is smart and everyone values that they are smart but this reminded me that women sometimes of course not be too smart because they feel threatened some of the men, but instead they choose things like being pleasured be wrong. It's really sad that they have to make the choice. And you know, my inability to reconcile those different values is privilege. Yeah. I'm not sure where I'm going with this, but something interesting that I was listening to earlier today and it got me thinking. And as I sit here in the dog park and wander around, and it's busy here today. Normally all these dogs are here. It's just something I was thinking about. Thought I'd probably reflect on it. Thought I'd probably reach out to all of you and ask you how you feel about it. And if you have any comments. And then, you know, is it... I don't know. I digress. I'm just kind of thinking right now. Wondering. I mean, well... My dog and another dog, Wally, are going nuts way out in the distance here. I would zoom in, but I really don't know how. Um, yeah, in any case, uh, there's some thoughts. So we're still waiting to find out who our next president's going to be. It looks like it's going to be Joseph Biden. Regardless how you feel about that, that's what it looks like it's going to be. But um, yeah, if you have any thoughts about that party scenario or those values, or you know, if I just if you think I'm just full of shit, then no, that's okay, but leave a comment. Let me know. If you think that this adds any value to you, you think that it's something worth thinking about, then hit the like button. I'd appreciate it. If you don't think it adds any value, then please provide me some value and let me know why. Or if there's anything about the equation I'm forgetting, and drop a comment. And if you want to keep receiving any of these uh, morning musings, then hit the subscribe button. All right. I love you all. Take care.